A local 90-year-old shares why marijuana is her medication of choice. This is 12 on Health with Gillian Neff. Welcome back to 12 on Health. The guests you're about to meet have an unconventional story to tell. They say they've seen firsthand that smoking pot can help with glaucoma. Meet glaucoma patient Gloria Blick of Stamford and her son internist Dr. Gary Blick. Dr. Blick is also an HIV AIDS specialist and the founder of the nonprofit World Health Clinicians. Thank you both for being here. Well, thank, you, well, thank you. Gloria, I see the two of you sitting here and I think what a role reversal. <laughs> mom is smoking pot. <laughs> you usually think of a mom as scolding their son for smoking pot. Well, you should have seen me 30, 40, 50 years ago when they were just little kids. I would have slaughtered them if they ever thought the word pot. Mm -hmm. didn't exist in my house. Why didn't you want them I smoking? I was so afraid of it. I was so fearful that my children might turn into becoming either addicted or whatever happens after they start with drugs. Mm -hmm. And I just couldn't. It's, I could never handle that. Well, as we were saying in, earlier before the break, there are, there's a strong opposition against anyone smoking marijuana because they're afraid that will open the floodgates to this as a drug available to young people and then that could snowball. Right. Mom was always afraid that it would lead to harder and harder drugs if we ever smoked right. marijuana, but she can tell you her experience now having been smoking with this, you know, what her new point of view is on this. Mm. I am so comfortable with it. It's a drug that at the beginning I was so afraid to even touch to my mouth. Yeah. But now I'm so comfortable because I know basically it offers me such, first of all, it gives me a very comfortable night's sleep. Okay, so do you tend to smoke before you Just go to bed? Just before I go to bed. And that, that's the only time? And that's the only time I take it. Okay. And I go into bed, I watch TV after that, and within about 20 minutes I must fall asleep because I don't even remember when we turn off the TV. And then I sleep right through like a baby. I was better than I've slept for years and years and years. What was the problem? What does glaucoma do to you that would interfere with your sleep? Well, basically the glaucoma didn't interfere with my sleep, but primarily not knowing that I'm going to waken up and have sight. That's always been on my mind. I am so afraid of losing my vision. Mm -hmm. And I suppose everybody is afraid of that, but me, I'm so active. And my whole life starts with my vision because I drive mm -hmm. and I go, and I'm chairman of this and chairman of that. And right, you I have can't an be inactive. Life. And yeah. to me, when he said, I'm having problem with my eyes, my doctor, my ophthalmologist, my heart sank, my, I, I panicked. Now, Dr. Blick, um, your mom says it helps, it seems to have slowed the progress of her glaucoma. Is that the case? See, this is yeah. the problem with glaucoma. And, and the most common one, which we call, you know, open angle glaucoma, is silent otherwise known as silent glaucoma. So if people over the age of 40 to 60 don't get their eyes checked, they don't even know that the pressures inside their eye are rising. A significant rise in pressure in their eyes puts a lot of pressure on the nerve to the eye where they can go blind. So how would marijuana alleviate that? So we don't know the exact reasons. We don't even know why the pressures build up overall. Certainly if you have an underactive thyroid or if you're diabetic or if you had trauma, pressures can build up that way. But the fluid drains out and all of a sudden as you get older, it stops draining out as easily. So what we do know though is when mom smokes marijuana, we ask her to smoke two or three inhalations, two or three hits of the joint every night. It has significantly dropped the pressures in her eye. So so much so that she has avoided the need for surgery. Is it possible it's because of a stress reduction? Well, there's, some, there's receptors in the eye too, so there's theories that it's working on the receptors to open up the ability to drain the, the fluid out of the eye. The fluid is called aqueous humor, so the fluid can drain a little bit more easily. But that's still an unknown. There's not a lot of research on how marijuana really works on the eye. Why not just prescribe your mom a medication that contains marijuana's active ingredient. Yeah, you may be familiar, we do have one synthetic FDA approved sort of marijuana type uh, uh, pill out there, it's called Dronabinol. Mm -hmm. okay? The brand name is Marinol. The brand name is Marinol. And we actually prescribe it as an HIV specialist. I prescribe it for my patients to increase their appetite, to help curb their nausea. And, and so they've actually done some preliminary research on that and showed that the pill, in the current form that it's in, did not significantly reduce the pressures even close to what eye drops could do. 
Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, the, the oral version did not do that. Now, why doesn't the, um, the Glaucoma Society see marijuana as helpful? Well, the Glaucoma Society and even the Ophthalmological Societies are based on research. And, and Gillian, we have to be fair, there's not a lot of research mm -hmm. on this. One of the knocks that the naysayers say about using this for glaucoma is they say the effect is only for three or four hours. Therefore, you'd have to have an elderly person, mom's 89 years old, she'd have to be smoking six to eight times a day for it to work in their points of view. But the reality is we only have mom smoking, as I said, two or three inhalations of marijuana every night before she goes to sleep, and she can tell you what it's done for her pressures in her eye. I mean, she really has avoided the need for laser surgery. You can actually feel that? I can't feel any pain because there is no pain to it. But I can feel when I go to my ophthalmologist and he checks my pressure. And when he told me that my pressure was so above the normalcy of where it's supposed to be that I now need surgery, uh-uh, I panicked. Mm -hmm. So instead of that, that, I can feel the difference now by having gone back to him since I started, my pressure has gone down and it's staying down. And that to me means no surgery. I see. And it's very interesting, Gillian, because when, when Dr. Timmons originally called me and said, it's too bad we don't have medical marijuana in Connecticut, mm. and I said, don't worry, we'll be able to get it from mom, she went in there, her pressures had significantly dropped, and he called me and said, it's amazing, yeah. I don't know what happened here. Mom was a little bit too embarrassed to tell her eye doctor that she was smoking marijuana. <laughs> I yeah. didn't want right? to be your And her son was uh, right, helping right, right. out. Um, <laughs> On the more serious side, and we do have a commercial here, but I do want to hear from you because you are a mom, and we heard from a mom earlier who lost a son to drug abuse. Mm -hmm. So do you want marijuana accessible to young people? I'm not that concerned about the marijuana's accessibility to the public other than to the person who has glaucoma. That's my prime concern. Okay. There are, I'm in a senior center and I'm the, I'm, right now I'm an interim director of it. And I see my, rep my members who have the same problem as I am and each one of us wake up every morning and say, thank you dear God for letting me have my vision again. Mm. And I am so afraid of losing it. So if this is going to save me, I'm all for it. And we'd like to see for all chronic conditions where it's potentially beneficial for Gillian. And, and that includes even for my AIDS patients that have mm -hmm. wasting syndromes, so their appetites are get better, they put on weight, chemotherapy mm -hmm. where your appetite's knocked out, you get nausea. It's one of the best anti-emetics. It's one of the best anti-nausea pills on the market when you smoke, when you take the pill, and it works just the same when you smoke it. Thank you both for being here. Gloria Blick and her son, Dr. Gary Blick.